this is a video I know a good number of you guys have been waiting for. In this video, I am going to review one of these MREs. Uh, just to recap, I got these from a friend of mine for doing some computer work. Um, these are, this particular one is menu number 24. We're going to do the meatloaf with gravy. Um, I looked it up, and this is from the 2007 uh, menu. So these are basically made between 2007, maybe 2008. Um, this one is from Americold Packing, Evansville, Indiana. And as you can see, it says U.S. government property commercial resale is, is unlawful. Well, I basically got these as, as a gift, so we're not going to say they were sold because no money actually changed hands. So without further ado, let's go ahead and break into this. Um, it's really, really stiff plastic. Uh, you really can't just rip it. So the only thing that I could tell you to do is get a pair of scissors and start cutting. All right, let's see what we got. All right, you can see this pack here. Now I got to remove the foil or remove the uh, plastic from the inner part. And let's go and unpack everything. Let's see. Okay. This looks like it's actually the meal itself. You can see right there it says meatloaf with brown onion gravy. And then over here it says military rations are good performance meals. Basically it's almost like a food pyramid because it's explaining all the different nutritional values of eating this. Well, I think... Uh, the jury's out on how good these are for your health, but if you're out in the field somewhere, you have no access to food, then yeah, I mean, these are excellent. Uh, let's see, hot beverage bag. Okay. This is really cool. This is actually, if you were going to have the coffee, which I believe is included in here, this is how you can make it. It looks like you can actually even drink out of this if you need to. So basically if you're out, again, if you're out in the field and you don't have a cup, you can follow the instructions here. It'll actually uh, see what it says. Open the bag, fill with water to the appropriate line, add beverage powder. Remove air from bag, then secure closure. Place a uh, beverage bag in FRH as you would in MRE entree. Activate FRH. Okay, so this will actually let you heat it as well. That, that's really cool. We're probably not going to use this today though. All right, now this right here, this is the actual heater. This is what will heat your food for you. What you're actually going to do, and I'll show you in a minute, you're actually going to take this out of here, you fill this up with water to the line, and you put the pack in here, and I think you let it sit for about five minutes, and uh, it'll actually start cooking. Next, we have barbecue seasoning. I'm guessing that's probably for the... Um, for the, the meatloaf, I'm not sure why they would have that. I guess just to add a little bit more uh, flavor to it. Uh, you have a spoon, which I wasn't sure if it was included, so I did bring uh, one that we have here, but that, that's a nice touch. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is the cocoa beverage powder. Uh, this is just like probably regular, uh, it's probably like chocolate milk, really. Um, you can see that gives you directions on here. Allow water just chemically purified to stay in 30 minutes before adding. Now it's interesting, it's explaining how you should use, make sure your water is purified before you actually put it in here. Uh, tear pouch at notches, open zipper, add six ounces of water, uh, a quarter canteen cup to the fill line, close the zipper and shake. So basically you're just going to put some water in here, close it up again, shake it, and then once again you could just drink out of here if you want to. Uh, we have some apple jelly, probably for the next thing here, which are the crackers. And uh, I'll have to see what these are like. I'm not exactly sure what this is going to taste like. It, it's it's going to be interesting. This is my first MRE ever. Uh, okay. Well, they usually give you stuff like this. Sometimes it's like M&M's. They give you a, a treat. Because let's face it, when you're out in the field, you want to have something. Uh, in this case... They put in uh, Tootsie Rolls, so that was kind of a nice feature. Let's 
see what we got here. This is <laughs> cookies with pan coated chocolate discs. So basically, these are chocolate chip cookies in here. Um, I don't know if they were ever soft, but they are it now. This is hard as a rock, so I may or may not be uh, eating that. Uh, these are the mashed potatoes, so the mashed potatoes are actually stored separately. I'm going to have to see exactly uh, how to cook these. I may or may not eat this. I'm, I, I'm definitely going to try the main entree, but I don't know if I want to eat the, uh, the decade-old potatoes, to be honest with you. And then here, we just have a packet with some uh, other accessories. Let's go ahead and open that up and uh, see what we got in here. Okay, this is... Iced tea drink mix, lemon flavored, so that actually looks really, really good. Uh, this is fairly low on sugar, so I might actually give that one a try. Uh, we have a iodized salt packet. Not sure what this is. Oh, this is just an OXO cube, basically to help uh, uh, keep away moisture. Looks like we're a couple of chiclets here. Gee, maybe I should uh, get some false teeth and uh, stick them like that. <laughs> I remember seeing that before. Uh, pack of matches. Just a little book of matches. Probably uh, ten of them in there. And last but not least, we have a moist towelette. So when you're done eating in the field, you can go ahead and clean up. So let's get started. I am going to first try... Uh, let's see, what did I do with it? I'm going to go ahead and try this uh, lemon drink mix. And I have some water here. I'm going to go ahead and try this. Let's open that up. Go ahead and put the uh, powder in there. And I'll just use this uh, spoon since I have it handy. Now, when you're every when you're using freeze dried mixes like this, you really, really want to make sure you stir it nice and nice and long. You want to make sure it's in there good. You can actually hear it when you're stirring. Uh, you can hear the pieces dissolving, so that should be about good. Get you guys in for a close up. Show you what that looks like. It actually kind of looks a little like coffee, don't you think? <laughs> well, let's give it a try. Let's see what it tastes like. It's not bad. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, it's like a cheap version of uh, Lipton iced tea. It's, I mean, it's not bad, but it's also not that good. It's not very sweet. Uh, it's got a very thick lemon flavor. I mean, that's the first thing I get when I taste this is lemon. I'm going to try one more sip. Oh, yeah. Very, very strong lemon flavor, so... That's okay. I, I would I would give that in my rating scale maybe a five out of ten. So let's go ahead and open up the crackers. I'm kind of curious to see what these uh, crackers are like. Go ahead and try to open this. It's never, they're never that easy. There we go. Whoop! I'm about to lose them here too. And as you can see, they're basically, they're kind of like saltines. Uh, they are still fairly uh, fresh. You can hear the crack. Listen. So I think it'd be safe to try this. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a little apple jelly on here because I have a hunch that's what they had in mind uh, when they made, put this uh, MRE together. So let's give this a try, see what we got. Oh, oh doesn't that look good? All right, you can see it right there. Ooh, I'm losing a little bit of it. It's very, very watery, probably because it's a little on the old side. Hmm. Crackers are edible, but they're definitely past their prime. Um, I have a little bit of a stale flavor to them. By all means, these are still absolutely safe to eat. I mean, if I was out in the field and I had this MRE, I would absolutely eat every bit of this. But I could tell right away that uh, this is pretty much um, on its way out. Probably another year or so, and those crackers would be almost inedible. 
I'm going to kind of do this in reverse. We're going to go ahead and open up the uh, dessert first. This is the uh, cookie with <laughs> pan-coated chocolate discs. I'm dying to see what this actually looks like. Let's go ahead and give this another, give this a whirl here. Okay. Well, first thing you see, it's got one of those oxo um, packets. They call this an oxygen absorber. You absolutely have to have that because if you didn't have that in there, these things would go bad within a year. And here it is. Um, if you look really closely, you can see what looks to be some kind of like M&Ms inside. So to me, this is basically like a chocolate chip cookie with uh, M&Ms in it. Um, it actually does feel kind of fresh. I mean, you can see it's still crumbly. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Wow. That is really, really good. Totally fresh. This tastes like, tastes like it could have been baked last week, not 10 years ago like it actually was. Let's go in for another bite. That is heavenly. I would definitely give this at least an 8 out of 10. I mean, that is absolutely delicious. It's flaky, buttery. They're definitely M&M's or some type of generic M&M-like candy. But I'll finish this later. I'm going to actually uh, save this because I want to have my uh, parents try that too. That is excellent, excellent. Okay, so it is time to go ahead and try to cook this MRE. This is the meatloaf with the brown gravy. I'll go ahead and open this up. Show you guys what it looks like. Basically just comes in a packet like this and you can feel it. I mean you can feel that there's a little bit of salt in there. The gravy is definitely mixed in with it. So what I actually have to do is go ahead and get some fresh water because this is now iced tea. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and uh, we'll go ahead and cook it. So, be back in just a couple of minutes. Okay, so I got some bottled water here. This will work just fine. And since I've never done this, I'm going to go ahead and follow the exact instructions on here. The first thing it says, remove the MRE pouch from the, from the carton and save. That's this little thing here. So, to do that, we actually have to tear, or in my case, I'm just going to cut the very top portion of the bag off. Now I can go ahead and uh, remove this. This is actually the heating element. Uh, step two, tear off top of the bag, which we've already done. Um, place emery pouch in bag with the heater. Okay, so basically what I have to do, I stick this and the heater in here. And this is probably going to be a little bit harder than it actually looks because it's really, really tight. I'm actually going to try to put this in first, then maybe we can get the heater in. And I'm sure I'll get comments from people that have actually been in the military saying that I'm doing something wrong, but you know what? This is my first time, so be a little patient, please. Okay. Now, as you can see, the heater is right behind there, and that's exactly how you want it. Now, step three. While holding the MRE pouch and heater above... Um, Above lines of bag, pour water into the bag until it reaches the level lines, which basically are these lines right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you have to be very careful not to overfill, it says. Okay. That's it. Actually, I, got a, I went a little bit over, but that's fine. Okay. And let's see, the bottom of the bag and fold the top of the bag. Okay, so basically we're going to go ahead and fold this bag here. And I'm going to go ahead and stuff it back into here. And what you want to do is you want to have this at a 45 degree angle. The reason you're doing this is because it kind of gets hot and you really don't want to... Um, burn yourself. Again, 45 degree angle, so I'm just going to go ahead and prop it up maybe like this. I'll have to find something. Actually, you know what? We'll just use the water bottle if that'll work. And then I can go ahead and put something in front to prevent it from moving. 
All right. We're going to let that cook for five minutes, and when I come back, we'll go All ahead right. and give it a so try. While we're waiting for that to cook, I figured I'd go ahead and open up the uh, Tootsie Rolls and give those a try. See if they're any good as well. I mean, so far, everything, with the exception of the um, crackers, have been totally fresh. So I'm actually very impressed in how long these will last. Okay. So here are the Tootsie Rolls. They're the longer, um, usually a little bit larger than the ones you'd find in the store. Let's see if I can get a date on these. No dates. I was hoping that maybe I could definitively say that this particular emery was from 2007 or 2008. Let's go ahead and open it up and uh, see if it's even edible anymore. It's really hard. <laughs> well, let's see. Well, this is the Tootsie Roll itself. You can see, whoop, I'm going to lose this. It definitely looks like a Tootsie Roll. Um, it's actually still pliable, so I'm going to go ahead and take a little bite and see if it's any good. Wow. Wow. That is perfectly fine. There is nothing wrong at all with this. It's still soft. It's still chewy. Um, it's even it's even uh, it's even moist. It doesn't have any um, of the chalkiness you usually get after a year or two when when chocolate starts to get a little bit on the old side. Kudos. I mean, this is absolutely delicious. This tastes just like a tootsie roll you would buy fresh in the store right now. Excellent, excellent. I am really impressed as to how well these emery's have actually held up I mean this is the first one I've tried but I assume the other ones should be about the same let's take another sip of our lemon iced tea here even that's starting to grow on me again it's it's not the greatest I've ever had by any means but once again this is designed for soldiers out in the field if you're out uh, if you're out on a mission and all you have is this MRE, this is like dining at the Four Seasons for you guys. I, I totally get it now. I mean, this is something I'd be very grateful to have if I was out there myself. Okay, it is starting to heat up. It, it's it's taking a little bit longer to uh, heat up, and it may be due to the age of the element itself. So I'm going to give this a few more minutes and hopefully uh, be ready to eat uh, the all main right. course. So it's been about, actually, about ten minutes now, and this should be ready. So let's go ahead and give it a try. You want to be very careful when doing this because you could easily burn yourself. Okay, it, it's warm. It, it, it's not hot, but it's definitely warm. Let's go ahead and pull it out here. Oops, it'll actually come out. <laughs> Okay, and we'll go ahead and uh, cut this open. I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut it open from the top. Oh yeah, look at that. Take a look guys. If you look in there, you can actually see the meatloaf on top and then uh, the gravy is towards the bottom. It's, it's just lukewarm right now. I think the heating element is probably going out on it, um, just because of the age, but that's fine. These are still, should be safe to eat, so let's give this a little try. I'm going to take my spoon here, kind of break it up a little bit if I can. Try and get a little gravy in there. That's what it looks like, guys. You can see it's, you know, it's not the greatest quality meat, but you can see the gravies all mixed in together. Um, you can look and see the the actual beef in the middle and the gravies kind of around the edge, so... <sighs> I don't really want to do this. <laughs> well, we're going to give it a try anyway. All right, cheers, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
Oh, that is nasty. That is so nasty. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe the f texture of this. I, I, it actually reminds me of dog food, uh, to be honest with you, or cat food. Um, the flavor is almost non-existent. I'll be honest, I, I've had... Uh, dollar store frozen uh, banquet meatloafs that tasted better than this. I'm going to go in for one more bite just to just to kind of be sure. Oh, what I do for you guys. Mm. No. No. Yeah, that's that's not happening anymore. That is majorly gross. <laughs> And it's not that it's um, spoiled. It still tastes fresh. And as a matter of fact, I can almost guarantee you it tasted that way when it was first sold. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what to say about the meatloaf other than yuck. Just absolutely revolting to eat. Now, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings that actually likes this or has actually had it, but... In my opinion, in my rating scale from a 1 to 10, the, I would actually give this a negative number if I could, but I'm just going to give it a 0 right now. I mean, this is... I, I'll give you another close-up, and you can actually see how disgusting that really is. I'm, I'm breaking this up, and it, it's almost like sludge in there. I mean, it is really, really, really messy. Well, that's about it for the MRE. I am not going to chew the... Um, gum because I'm afraid of pulling out some fillings. I was actually reluctant to try the uh, Tootsie Roll at first, but this is actually still so tender, um, there was absolutely no problem eating this. So, my final verdict on the MRE. The desserts. The cookie, the Twizzler, fantastic. This is actually one of the better cookies I've ever had. The Twizzler is fine. It tastes just like you get one out of the store. Um... I'm not going to try the mashed potatoes because I know for a fact I'm not going to like them. And let's face it, they're just freeze-dried mashed potatoes. Everybody's had those in the past. Um, so basically, everything except the main course was good. Um, I didn't... Look, you know what? Let's do one last thing here. Let's go ahead and try the moist towelette, see if that's actually still moist. And it is. Because, of course, if you're in the field and you've eaten your meal, you have no bathroom facilities, no way to clean yourself off, a little moist towelette is going to be your best friend. Not only to ward off germs, but just to make yourself kind of feel a little clean. Because not only can you use it to wipe your hands, but you could take it, wipe your arms down, you know, wipe your, wipe your face off. You can almost wipe a good portion of your upper body with this. So I could definitely see the benefit of even having just this in an MRE. This alone, when you're in the field, must be a godsend. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review of the MRE. Um, I will try some of the other ones. I don't know if I'm actually going to make a video on those or not. Um, I tell you what, leave it in the comments. If you really enjoyed this, I will go ahead and try the other MREs. Um, if not, then I may not do another video. I'm going to leave it up to you guys, my subscribers. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.